you're still watching ways now what did you find for us in the news jenny baby <laughs> <laughs> So in Punch newspaper today, um, COVID-19 second wave. Mm -hmm. The federal government has considered to ban UK and US flights into Nigeria. Nigeria. Now, we all know that there is a second wave of the coronavirus. And I know that there are lots of people out there who do not still believe that there is corona. I mean, I, was, um, I went to Computer Village yesterday to sell my old phone. And I was in my face mask all through. And one of the guys goes, why are you wearing face mask? Mm -hmm. There's no corona. And I just looked at him and kept on working. Um, I know there are people who actually, who don't believe and probably because they've not heard about anyone that is close to them that has probably died or has um, gotten ill or mm. has um, contracted the virus. But um, just last week alone, I had about three friends who have corona and positive. still have corona. And now they are in isolation. So we can't see them. We can't talk to them. Some of them landed in the hospital. I have um, two friends who had corona uh, around, um, I think around June. They've recovered from it, but they still don't have their sense of smell and their sense of taste. Wow. Since so it June. is, yes, it is that serious. So now there are people who it is very, once it's done, it's done for them. While there are some of them that are still recovering, mm -hmm. they don't have um, fever or malaria or any of that sort, but they still cannot taste. So it, it is different for different people. And now that if you check the number of cases in the UK, it is way, it, we're counting in millions. Mm. We're talking about millions. And we have a lot of people coming in from, from the US, from the UK into Nigeria that are bringing the second, that are bringing, I even heard that there's a new strain. Mm, definitely. So it there's is, a new it strain is, it from, is crazy I think, out um, there. South Africa and the UK. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, we, we have to keep on talking. Um, even within here, um, Plus TV here, I just noticed that everybody has taken the responsibility again, you know, to start to wear nose mask and, you know, because at some point we all are very culpable to that. I mean, we are all guilty. Yeah. We all relaxed, you know, thinking, okay, at least the worst is over and all of that. We all got, you know, got complacent and all of that. But mm -hmm. I'm happy that everybody's taking it seriously Serious, again. yes going back to the, the, the routines and all of that. So the thing is, for me, I think also what I think is happening, because I, I, I want to understand it from both sides of the people, the people that don't believe and the people that believe. For the people that do not believe, some of them, okay, so a friend of mine told me something yesterday, that she knows someone that had been going to the hospital for the past um, years, two years, kidney problems. He's been going in and out of the hospital and all of that. Then he now suddenly passed this year. And, you know, they now say that he passed because of COVID-19. Yeah. So when you hear that kind of a thing, it gives you some element of doubt. No, but I know that this person had kidney complications for a very long time that yeah. he's been managing. Mm -hmm. So can you say that, okay, he had kidney com um, complications, but because of his, uh, what's it called, exposure to COVID-19, it worsened the it situation, worsened the and situation. that was why he died. So let us let us be clear on the narrative, right? So don't just say, "Oh, COVID nineteen killed him," because killed him. people know that he had kidney, had kidney issues. issues. Yeah. Do you understand my point? Yeah, yeah. So when somebody is now coming to say, "Oh no, I doubt," you know, in 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 communi communication is very key when you want to manage things like this. Mm -hmm. It's very key. Nobody is stupid. Nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to just go out of their way to get infected or and infect other people. But the way you also communicate it to the next person matters a lot. Yeah. And it tells you how the person will also receive, will receive your message, message, you know. Sure. So I think that is where the biggest challenge for me, you know, is when it comes to this miscommunication of people not believing that it does believing exist. Yeah. Some of course they know that it exists, but it's just that it is just because of things like what I've just said mm -hmm. that makes them just makes feel, you know, yeah. So I think it's just for everybody should just um, learn smarter ways to communicate better. Yeah. So my story is quite interesting. As I mentioned earlier, you know, anybody that knows me knows that I love my pastor, you know, <laughs> because not because of, he's just someone that is so simple, so humble. Yeah. He's someone that makes you want to be more, right? Makes you want to aspire to do great yeah, things, yeah. you know, and do things not just for yourself, yeah. but for humanity, right? So, um, of course, he, he's trending. Um, um, Punch says, uh, Punch reported rather, say, don't stress yourself over crossover um, crossover time says Sam Ademi. That's from Punch newspaper. So I now went and I checked his tweet. 
you know. Oh, see my handsome pastor. <laughs> so I checked his tweet. He said, um, he tweeted this about two hours ago or something. He said, if you say Happy New Year at 2 a.m. on the 31st of December in Lagos, you won't be wrong. You will only be joining people in Sydney, Australia to say um, at that time. In fact, you'll be 10 hours ahead of others in Nigeria. So don't stress over time to cross over. Just cross, cross over. over. You now post hashtag Happy okay, New Year. Yeah. So for me, because you know why? Do you know why, why I'm so excited about um, Pastor Sam Adeyemi yeah. and his leadership? I have lived a lot of things. You know, 2020, you know how we cross over 20, from 2019 to 2020? 20, 20, 20, yes. When he gave the word for 2020 and he said it was our year of rest, we were wondering, rest care. Reske, reske, reske. We saw that 2020, the whole world is rest well, rested. rested. Yes, <laughs> the whole world rested because a yeah, lot of things were grounded. Yes, true. So true. now you know. So if you did not used to believe that God actually speaks in the simplest ways, yes. you would learn from it. And not only that, from day one, we in Daystar, we normally used to do our crossover service with Dubai timing. We don't mm, follow Nigerian, Nigerian time. time. We don't do all those ones that you go and stay in church to 12 midnight to yes, be in church. Yes, I know they usually start in the afternoon. Yes, we do, and we finish at 9 p.m. Mm. So we never used to do all of these things that you must go be in church and church will meet you 30, uh, 31st, 12, 12 midnight. 12 midnight. We true. never used to do that. So for us, all of these things that are happening, it's yeah. like God just kept us 10, 10 steps ahead. Yeah. See, leadership is very powerful. <laughs> you know, I had to take this story because it is, for me, it's just an example, <laughs> an example of what leadership should look like. And yes. because we are talking leadership today i just had to take that story <laughs> i actually i actually like um pastor sam mm -hmm. because um i saw the things that he said and his takes during the nsas protest yeah and i was actually really amazed because he was no he's always I think been the like only that. one or yeah. i don't know how many other pastors he was the first, but he was some, the first other, some others now came yeah at, he was the first along. person and i was like oh thank you like we need a voice oh, like yes, that. yes, we do. He's actually a fantastic leader. And, um, you know, I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm going to join you guys very soon. We are, you very are welcome. Soon. Our arms are open. <laughs> All right, so I just had to take that story because of what we're talking about, leadership today. You know, it was just so apt for, for the conversation. So we'll see you after the break to discuss um, building a wholesome leader. Stay with us. We'll be right back.